I couldn't believe what had just happened. One minute, I was Peter, the know-it-all guy on the tour bus, and the next, I was Penelope, dressed in women's clothing. It all started when the girls on the bus had finally had enough of our arrogant attitudes and decided to revolt. The demand was clear, the driver had to stop the bus. As the engine rumbled to a halt, I knew something was about to change. I stepped off the bus, feeling the eyes of the women on me as I stripped off my clothes. In their place, they handed me a pair of panties, a bra, a white blouse, a skirt, and high-heeled boots. To complete the transformation, they thrust a purse into my hand. Now walk, Penelope, Asi demanded. She was a tall, blonde woman with a commanding presence. I stumbled as I adjusted to the unfamiliar heels and the unforgiving brick sidewalk. Keep walking, Penelope, the ladies chided, and the new name stuck. Show us some grace. With every step, I tried to muster up the grace they wanted to see. Penelope started to feel more feminine and reserved, like a prim and proper woman. My hips swayed with a newfound rhythm, and my voice came out soft and demure. It was surreal, as if I had slipped into an entirely different persona. After two hours of walking up and down the street as Penelope, we reboarded the bus. The ladies refused to let Peter return, only Penelope was allowed. A sea settled into the seat next to me, her presence both intimidating and oddly reassuring. As I sat there in my feminine attire, I couldn't help but wonder how this unexpected turn of events would shape the rest of our vacation. One thing was certain, Peter, the know-it-all, had learned a valuable lesson in humility, all thanks to a spontaneous rebellion by the ladies on the tour bus. The bus continued its journey, and I remained Penelope, trying my best to adapt to this new role. The ladies on the bus seemed to revel in my transformation, offering tips on posture, makeup, and even sharing stories about their own experiences. It was like an impromptu crash course in femininity, and I was the reluctant student. As the days passed, something unexpected happened. I began to embrace this alter ego, Penelope. The more I played the part, the more it felt like a part of me. I found myself enjoying to be one of the women on the bus. They were no longer just fellow travelers, they had become my friends. A C, in particular, took me under her wing. She taught me the intricacies of makeup and how to handle the high heels with elegance. She shared stories of her own life, her triumphs, and her struggles. We talked late into the night, and I realized that beneath her tough exterior, she was a remarkably compassionate and insightful person. As Penelope, I discovered a newfound freedom. I felt liberated from the expectations and pressures of being Peter, the know-it-all. In this guise, I was allowed to be vulnerable, to ask questions without fear of ridicule, and to learn from those around me. It was a humbling experience. Our journey continued, and each day brought new adventures and shared laughter. Penelope became a symbol of transformation not just for me but for the entire group. The ladies had successfully challenged my arrogance, and in doing so, they had reshaped my perspective on life. When the vacation finally came to an end, and it was time to return to our regular lives, I faced a dilemma. Did I want to go back to being Peter, the know-it-all, or did I want to hold on to the lessons I had learned as Penelope? It was a choice that would define the person I would become.